Hello and welcome back to Mordheim City of the Damned and the adventures of our resurrected unnamed warband with me, Barden. Last time we decided we were going to plump for this uh, story mission, so let's get in and get started. It is a great distinction that Count Vlad pays you. Your name must be held in some regard in the cobwebbed halls of Dragenhof. The master has seen fit to reveal to you some small measure of his intentions. Know that Sylvania is a desiccated land, a withered... A new round has started. Okay, so this is the um, library, which can be a bit... Um complicated because of the warp system that's used so we're gonna have to be careful about um, where guys go now what I'm thinking is that um, well first of all we're going to loot here and see what we get it's a seven gold that's nice take that and then our we don't actually have a cart we just have the like the chest and the idol there in the back room so he's gonna head towards that but what I'm thinking is that um, the the zombies are gonna be a bit of um, a bit of a, of a hindrance here on this mission because of their uh, movement so what we might actually do is well first of all obviously walk into a trap but what we might actually do is um, get them involved in the first fight uh, so that if they're injured, we can kind of um, just use them uh, to move stuff about where there's no real rush for them to actually get involved in any fights. And we're, oh, we'll have to do that, but so it's a, a search. So all dusty tones. If you don't know, they're pretty much completely useless, so you shouldn't pick them up when you're here in the library. I'm going to take an ambush. And as you can see, we've got a lot of um, objectives. We've also, we've also got um, this is the first mission where we have our Persona Dramatic, Dramatis, or Dramaticus, I think it is. Uh, Katharina von. Dern's trip, Dern's back. Uh, so she joins us for this mission. She's pretty powerful, but the thing is that if she gets killed, that means uh, it denies your guys XP. And also, if she goes out of action, um, you immediately fail the mission. So we definitely don't want to do that. Uh, so we need to protect her and use her uh, sparingly. So she's got this ability here, um, Call of Van Hell. So what does it actually do? So it gives immunity to all alone fear and terror tests, which would be um, good here because of the um, demons that we're going to uh, encounter along the way. But for now, I'm going to end our turn. In this starting room here and in the room above us um, on the corridor to our right at the moment uh, we're safe from the enemy but when we go to the rest of the map um, it's going to be a different story but we're going to get ourselves in position to um, go through the purple so let's take an ambush there now let's get cave in on his way and take an ambush next cliff can make his way over as well so cliff can probably get through next round without actually blocking anything um, nick now is going to move forward so he's going to get involved in this fight as well so he can take an ambush stance here and the temptation 
um, with these library missions or story missions is to split your guys up to cover more area but uh, that's maybe a good a tactic has started. later on but at the start it's good to um, to keep your guys together just in order to focus down some of the enemies to give you a bit of, of an advantage when you counter other guys later on. So Sip is going to start making his way back. So because he's so far behind, he's probably going to go um, up to the other room we haven't seen yet to be ready for the next, uh, basically the next war point. So Axel then, so we don't actually Axel didn't find anything there, so we don't need him to go that way. So let's take him through and have a look. So where are we here? Okay, so there's no enemy on the level with us, so that's good at least. There's probably one um, down below though. Let's have a quick look here. Okay, so the mental grimoire is a nice thing to get because, as you can see, it grants uh, three mental attribute points. So we can use that to potentially um, up someone's skill in a certain area uh, by three points. And it's very good if you've got a certain if you've got certain skills that you're going for that maybe have um, a minimum amount um, of intelligence or something um, that's required to get them. So then let's end this turn. Okay, so I think Mammy's boy is going to go upstairs. And here now we can see that there are more warps in this room. There's two more. Okay, and we're probably gonna go for the blue one first. We're not gonna throw any poison, we're just gonna end our turn. Now Katarina uh, is going to go upstairs as well. And she's going to take a dodge stance here. Lovebite is going to go through here and she's going to check the level below. Because I'm pretty sure that there's a way no way down there. I was pretty sure. Uh, maybe we're on the bottom level. Okay. So let's just go through here. It takes it back to this room. Okay, so this mission is slightly different than the others in that uh, before when I've done library missions, when you go through the first warp, uh, you end up in your first fight. So we can pretty much ignore uh, that war point there and just head everybody up this way. And what we'll do is we will send people through um, the blue warp first. Okay, so he can't go there, he's gonna have to back up and go behind. We send people through the blue warp first, check the situation there, and then um, if we don't feel like we need everybody there, we might actually split and go for the green warp. But let's get ourselves up here. Now, one of these two warps will probably bring us to another hub room, which has um, several warps in it, and then we're going to have to uh, just play a guessing game to see which war will bring us to the place where we want to go. So for now, uh, we're going to take an ambush stance. And A new round has started. 
So we have actually seen one of the enemies. And it's probably because we've seen them across the map. Yeah, so um, that guy is there. So when we walk, we could actually end up where he is. So he's the curator's acolyte. So he's not someone that we have to put out of action, but he is probably guarding something that we need to get. Now, let's get Sip moving. Oh, we've got another walk here as well. I just noticed that. Okay, so it's a bit dangerous to send him through on his own. So let's take an ambush. Uh, potentially, we can bring a few people down to have a look there. So, ah, so I thought it was showing me the curator. It's just one of our people there. But he's taking his turn. And these other enemies. Um, so that guy was the curator's act like. One of the other enemies will be um, the curator himself. And then the others will be various um, various demons and possibly another curator's act like as well. Scattered around the map. Okay, so this is the um, hub room I was talking about so we've got a number of places we can search along here and basically we're going to have to make our way through each of the colors in turn so um, and if we go to the edge here you can see that this actually overlooks the room that we started in so let's just end our turn and then Axel can uh, take the walk over there and make his way back. So he's going to be part of the team going through yellow. Katarina can go through blue. Okay. And then she can come over here to this kind of pinkish color. And take a dodge. Now Love Bite can uh, head back down. And get ready to go through here next round. So I'll take an ambush here. Cave in um, is going to come this way as well. And I think we're actually going to split up the zombies this time. I'm sure they won't be happy about it, but uh, it's just the way things are. So Cliff is going to come up here. And Nick should be able to make his way through blue. Here we go. And he can join these guys. Wam Bram is going to. Let me think. So, yeah, Wam Bram is going to take blue as well. And then he's going to come along here and get what he's supposed to there next time. I don't want to block in that area though, so let's put him here. A new round has started. Okay, so we've actually got an enemy in here with us uh, who's doing a lot of damage. It's, looks like it's the curator himself. <laughs> Yeah, it is. So we probably need to get um, some more people over here as soon as possible. Let's swing at this guy. Okay, that's not good. Now, Sip was going that way. 
I think maybe we need a no we're going to go we're gonna go through here and just trust our guys to be able to deal with what's over there. So in here then we've got uh, So something's to search there. Okay, let's scavenge this. So some gold crowns. Uh, we don't know the good thing uh, about gold crowns is they're the only really the only thing that you can loot in the game that's stacked. Okay, so we've got an enemy there. So we want to bring him back into this room and ambush you. No, we want to okay, we're going to have to ambush there. So eventually we can only get maybe two people on him, so that's not ideal. And he does split into two um, into two horrors once we defeat um, this first level. So there's another another chap over there. So these guys are going to continue going through here. And we're going to, uh, I think, come here and do the dodge. No. I need to back up a bit. Come here and take a dodge. Mommy's boy now is going to uh, see if this guy likes poison. And he doesn't, which is great. And we're going to... So the other guy is around there, so he's going to be coming around that corner. So let's lay down some poison on the time. So let's go there. And then we're going to get involved in the fight. So Mammy's boy doesn't mind about the poison, so we come all the way around here and get involved on here and take a dodge. And now um our Oh, let me see that. I was gonna say she can just go and fight him, but Bunch of walk by mistake, so that's going to be a problem for us because it means that um, we can't get another person on around the far side without going through the walk. So we're just going to have to get on here. One percent chance to hit the guy is not good. But we're just going to have to take. The chances we can get. So this is going to be a bit of a problem for us, uh, and we don't, we haven't really got much ranged, if any ranged. Um, but let's see what happens here with this guy. Okay, he, he dodged the start. Let's hit him back. So we could hit the start there. Okay, but that's definitely not good. So these guys are certainly going to need some backup, and Love Bite is going to come provide that. Now, uh, let's see. So she can go around this side and get involved here. Okay, dodge rail, good. Now, when we defeat this guy, we are going to get uh, two more weaker versions. Um, but we, we need to take them out, this version out as quickly as possible. Cliff now um, is going to head for blue.
and it's going to head towards the guy on this side and take an ambush stance. Kaven is going to come through here. Um, he probably won't be able to get involved. Well, he can now because um, there's space. But that will mean that um, one of our ghouls can't get in the fight. But we do know that two more enemies are going to come. So um, having four people here I think is good for now. So we actually hit this time. Okay, that's good. And we're not going to flee, we're just going to enter. Now, Nick maybe won't be much use over there, so he's going to have to take some poison and try and get involved with this guy. Okay. Oh wow, that's a lot harder hitting than I was expecting. But we can hit him back pretty well. And let's end turn. Wham Bram now also has a 1% chance with this guy, so let's see. Let's disengage. So we don't have a ranged weapon on him, which is a pity. Okay, let's swing in again. I'm not expecting any of these to hit, but uh, we may as well keep the guy busy. And then we're going to take the parry stance. A new round has started. This is, this is poison globe, which is really bad for us. He's putting his fireball. He failed it. Great. Okay, and he's got that ward on him again, which makes it almost impossible for us to hit him. But uh, at least he didn't hit us because of our dodge. Now, what can pass? Ah, Sip can get on here as well. Brilliant. Okay, miss not so brilliant. Please hit. Okay, that's good. Maybe just needs to say please, and we get hit. If only the game was that easy, eh? Now, for a story mission, uh, three enemies is a lot to have to deal with at the same time. But we're going to... Now, I hate this. Why can't I see... Let's poison this guy a few more times. I don't know why that didn't work. Let's put the more blood down. This is one part of the game I really don't like. Uh, it should be easier to maneuver the camera than this. Let's hope we poison him this time. Okay, great. And take a dodge stance. So though it's difficult for us to hit this guy, uh, poison might actually take him out. Let's see if we can get rid of this pink bar. Okay, and then we should have one more swing to potentially kill him. But then we are going to get two more horrors. Okay, there we go. Pink are gone, and here are the blue horrors to replace him. So let's take a dodge stance. Luckily, uh, the guy in the front seems to be blocking the, the other chap, so we can actually take him out one at a time. Ah, so he has a different um, spell on him now, so it's actually much easier to hit him. So let's get some swings in. Dodge still not good though. We need to hit him now while we have a um, good chance, so that's nice. And let's see if we can get another. Okay, happy with that. Now we can take a. Okay, so let's just have a look at 
what are the abilities she has. Nothing really for a blue pill, so let's take a dark chance. So we want this guy to miss, please. Okay, he didn't. So we should be able to deal with him now. Hopefully. Okay, so let's take care of this blue horror first. Okay, dodge. Counter attack. Oh, that's not good. Okay, another miss. And let's take a dodge. So you can see how uh, the enemies on these story missions can really uh, whittle down your warband. It just takes so long to uh, to put them out compared to a normal uh, mission. No, we're not going to dodge. We're going to. Well, hang on. Let me check. You see, unparryable. Doesn't actually say. Okay, so I'm gonna take the chance that we can parry him. Cliff now is gonna get round here involved in this fight. Okay, let's hit him with a hammer. Nice dodge rail. And let's hopefully put him out of action. Brilliant. Okay, so that's another enemy dealt with. Let's end turn. Corral Nick um, is potentially going to go out of action because of poison. There's nothing on him we really want to take. We are going to check this point over here though. Old Dusty Tome. No, thank you. So is there anything on, no there's nothing on that side we want to see, so um, hey, Nick now, we, if he manages to survive uh, next round, he's just going to be a guy that we use for carrying stuff because he, he can't really be involved in anything else. Now, Wambram can bring the Curator down a bit more. Or you can just miss him. Okay, that's a good hit. But uh, a crit here would be lovely, please. Okay, we hit no crit. I'm going to parry. Now the blue horror is going to do lots of damage or fail. Failure, um, much preferred by me. That guy can't really do anything. A new round has started. Now what's he gonna do this time? Okay, he's gonna do a lot of damage to us. But then um, he gets cursed. It would have been nice if you had got cursed before he uh, did so much damage so. Okay, that's one blue bar taken care of. And now the other one, because of where he is, we're only gonna get three people on him, so but let's get him engaged now anyway. So come on. Do it. Okay, there we go. And take a dodge. So we've got Axel. Okay, so I'm going to let me think. So that guy's gonna go before Love Bite, so I'm gonna get Axel involved here. Uh, it does mean potentially Love Bite isn't going to be able to 
get on there at the corner. Um, but I want to have two people on this guy for now. Now, obviously, um, with, with these guys being ghouls, they can't um, they can't disengage and let other people swap in. So they're just gonna have to finish the fight out. Mammy's boy now. Um, so how much life is this guy getting up? Not too much. What we're going to do is we're going to poison him. Um, hopefully again. If the camera will cooperate. There we go. And then we're going to do the same once more. Okay. Nice. And take a dodge. Now, Katarina can potentially put this guy out of action. Let's check. Yeah. Um, so, let me think. So, he's not going to act um, again this round. So, what I'm actually going to do with her is not attack at all. I'm just going to uh, use lifesteal, uh, take some of his life, and then, uh, so I can lifesteal again, but would that kill him? No, it wouldn't, so let's do that. Okay, so she looks a bit healthier now and take a parry stance. And it means that either the poison or Wambram are going to kill that guy and we'll actually get the XP and uh, we won't go to waste. Now we can't or can we can we get no we can't get around there to get involved, so I'm just gonna go back off the low fight. Uh, and we're going to. What do you think? We're just going to take her through there and then uh, head up towards the blue um, warp. Cliff now can. Uh, what are we going to do with Cliff? So, Cliff is looking pretty healthy. He's going to... Oh, sorry for that. I was a bit crazy. Cliff's going to make his way around to those guys. Now, cave in can't get involved there either, so uh, we can come back to blue. Now, we are kind of taking a chance um, here because obviously the horror could actually put one of those guys out of action and then um, potentially facing one ghoul on his own, he could uh, take care of the other guy as well. But Nick luckily has. Um, survived so he's going to just circle around here um, take an ambush stance so he's going to kind of come in behind other people and do any carrying that we need so let's see if one round can take this guy down yes he can new objectives added Okay. Objective completed. So curator taken care of. Now let's loot the guy. Let's take this stuff. Objective completed. And now I don't know if we can get our oh, attention through there. So let's move away a bit and take an ambush stance. Did we check here? We just we probably did, but I wanted. Ah, no, we didn't, so 
If you check, let's take the Martian Grimoire. And then, uh, let's take an ambush stance here. 